Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And today I'm here at the Unification Statue here in Fallout New Vegas. And I want to read, read the plaque for you, okay? In the year 2271, the Desert Rangers of Nevada. Now, that's, that's key here. The Desert Rangers of Nevada. And Rangers of the New California Republic met at this spot to sign the Ranger Unification Treaty. Under this treaty, the Desert Rangers agreed to be absorbed into the NCR in exchange for NCR's protection of Hoover Dam, and New Vegas, and Southern Nevada against the forces of Kaisar's Legion. Now, question for you. Why? Why? Why, 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 why would one of these rangers be in West Virginia? Why would this outfit be in West Virginia? Why? I just, I don't understand. It makes no sense. Now, if you're watching this video, it's very likely that you've seen some other videos which are describing to you the, uh, the issues that are resulting from Bethesda offering a $13 a month or $100 a year subscription to play Fallout 76 at a premium level. And when, in the premium level you get private servers that apparently are broken and still let people join whoever wants to join if they know you. That's private enough. They figure you're going to want your friends there no matter what. Um, they have a, an infinite a storage stash for scrap which apparently just eats your stuff and it's broken too. But I mean, broken is broken. That's we, we expect that. That just happens. The rest of the game is broken. Why would any of this not be broken? There's some emotes and there's some things. You want to be able to wave at people in new and different ways that are exclusive to this deal. And, you know, there's a fast travel tent. Yeah, great stuff. But one of the things they're offering is the iconic Ranger outfit. And I'm thinking, why is no one pointing out that this is the worst part of that deal? This is the worst part of the... It is lore-breaking. There is no reason for anyone to be wearing a Ranger outfit in West Virginia. I mean, you're 25 years. Say 26 years, because maybe this is a year later. 26 years after the bombs drop. Interesting historical point, ladies and gentlemen. The NCR Rangers were you know, founded by Seth, who was the leader of the NCR, in 2161. This doesn't exist at the time of, of anything. This doesn't exist at the time of Fallout 76. There are no Rangers. This coat doesn't exist. I mean, at least you could argue that you know, the Brotherhood of Steel would think that they would have to get back to where the, the centers of government were. And they might be heading east to try to look for technology to secure. But I mean, there was no organization known as the Rangers when this is happening in Fallout 76. It doesn't exist and it makes absolutely no sense to have this coat in the game. It's, it's completely lore breaking, it's completely immersion breaking, and no one's talking about that. And I mean, you know, I guess when you're dealing with 76, does it really matter? Because I mean, it's just, the whole thing is so, is so broken at this point. I, I, I'd like to think that they're going to pull it out, pull out of this complete tailspin before, the, you know, the entire organization takes, takes this franchise and drives it into the ground at Mach 2. But I, I just, I don't know. I, this makes no sense. There should be no reason to see anyone in an NCR Ranger outfit. I can't believe they didn't even think about this. Why did why did they think this was a good idea? They did, but Bethesda didn't even directly develop this. This is an Obsidian coat. What? No one's no one's talking about this. No one's talking about that I've seen yet. They're all freaking out over the thirteen bucks a month. And look, however, Bethesda wants to make their money. If you're willing to give them thirteen bucks a month for what is really a very broken game because you're gaining pleasure out of it for whatever reason, or maybe you're making videos, you're doing whatever. That's fine. I'm not going to do it, but I mean, that's fine. I'm not going to criticize anyone who wants to give their money to Bethesda. Alright? But, 
why this coat? Why? There's nothing else they could come up with? That would actually make sense? I mean, have they given any thought to the lore? Is there anyone there? Is there anyone on deck who understands this game? This story? Is there anyone on deck at Bethesda who understands the story of Fallout anymore? We're kind of entering, it seems like, a point in in uh, in art in general, in movies, in TV, in video games where, you know, the lore doesn't matter. It says, well, let's see, this would be a cool thing to do, let's do that. It's, it's, I think it's a matter of there are people who are not passionate about the source material being given freedom to develop additional material, and that's a problem. And you know, once you once you have people who are just out to make a buck on it, yeah, we'll give them an NCR code. They can run around West Virginia, and that seems fine. And no one's going time out. This makes no sense. And you know what? It really comes down to that everybody has such a love for these games, and we would love to have this game be a great game, and we would enjoy it so much. Not this game. Everyone loves New Vegas, but Fallout 76. Everyone would love Fallout 76 to be a great thing. And they're so disappointed that it's crap. That that there's anger about it. Like, why would you why would you do this? I have some theories. I have some theories about what they're doing. That's gonna probably be if I could get them all really gelled together, that might be a blog post over on on the Basin System Services page. I have to worry. I haven't worked on that page for, in a very long time because I've been so focused on trying to to build the uh, you know the YouTube the YouTube the YouTube presence. I can speak. I really can. I have to get back to doing some writing. But there's a, I have a complicated theory about what Todd Howard is doing that I may I may post up there sometime soon. It's it's too complicated and re would require too many references to other things to get them into a YouTube video. But Give me a little while, maybe I'll have that up on on the Basin System Services page, and you can for your consideration. But I mean, it's it's a wild goose to chase kind of theory here as to what they're trying to do. But I this makes no sense. I'm sorry, I gotta wrap this up. Having this iconic iconic, you understand that it's iconic, and you don't understand why. Having this outfit in Fallout 76, no. 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 On that note, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. Okay, so I guess I guess we just have a cow on the roof now. That's like a thing. <laughs>